Welcome to another exciting teaching from 26 West Church Kids. We hope you enjoy learning more about our great God and grow and enjoying Him in your everyday lives. Be sure to check out the Parent Weekly at 26westchurch.org slash parents for more information from our teaching today. Here we go. Hi friends, welcome back. My name's Jamie and Howdy, today man. I brought a friend with me. This is... Caitlin. Howdy, and partner. we are going to tell you about the big God story. But before we do, let's invite our very special friend Hamilton the Hedgehog to join us, okay? On the count of three, let's call Hamilton to join us, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Hamilton, come out. Huh, maybe he didn't hear us. Maybe there's like background noise where he's at or something. Should we call him one more time? Yeah. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Hamilton. Hey, Hamilton, how are you today? Ooh, I like your sunglasses. I wonder if he was at the beach, because sometimes I wear my sunglasses at the beach. Hamilton, were you at the beach? Yes. Oh, that's so fun. So, Hamilton, would you like to help us tell the Big God story today? Okay. Well, before we go any further, Caitlin, where do we find the Big God story? In the Bible. That's right. We find the big God story in the Bible. God gave us the Bible to help us learn about him and about his son, Jesus. So if you ever want to know anything, you can look in your Bible. Okay, Hamilton, I know that you love to dig, dig, dig into God's word. Is that right? Yes. Oh, I love it. So before we do that, though, let's go ahead and close our eyes and we'll pray and invite God to teach us. Okay. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the sunshine and just all the ways you show your love. I pray that you'll help us learn and understand what you want us to know about your story today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so many, many years ago, there was a man named Moses, and Moses really loved God. Can you say Moses? Yes. Moses. How about at home? Can you say Moses too? Moses. Nice. Okay, so Moses trusted God and he lived in a place called Egypt. In Egypt, there was a king who was very mean. And guess what? He didn't love God at all. In fact, he didn't even like God's people. So the king was unkind to God's people and he made them work really hard for no pay. Oh no. The Israelites were God's people and they cried out to God and asked him for his help. Do you think when God heard them that he helped them? He did help them. Hamilton, do you think God helped his people? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so God did hear the cries of his people, and so he sent Moses to go and help the people. God told Moses to take the Israelites out of Egypt, and so all the people in Egypt packed up their belongings Anyone see my and hairbrush? they left. The people walked for a really, really long, We've been time. Walking a long time. Hamilton, do you think the people were tired? Yep. Yeah, the people were tired. Um, do you think they were scared when they went? They were scared. Yeah. Yeah, the people probably were a little bit tired. But guess what? God is mighty. And so the people could trust him to take care of them. God's people kept on walking until they got to the edge of a great big sea. I have a picture to show you. This is called the Red Sea. So I have a question for you to think about. My friend Caitlin's going to answer. What do you think we could find in the sea? I think we could find a fish or a few fish. Ooh, some fish. What else do you think we could find? We could probably find some sea turtles. Like in Moana? Yeah. Yeah, maybe so. That would be really fun to see there. I have a question. Are there waves in the sea? Yeah. Yeah, there are. You guys, let's make a wave with our hand. Here we go. Up and down. Ooh, nice moves, Caitlin. What about fish? How do fish swim? Maybe like this? Can you guys swim like a fish too? 
Good job. Okay, so what about surfers? Probably. Maybe so. How about you guys stand up and do your best impression of a surfer? Can you do it too, Hamilton? Get your arms out and balance on your board? <laughs> Good job. Okay, if you're standing up at home, you can sit back down and put away your surfboard because we're going to keep going. So, friends, I think we found out the clue to our story. Where was Hamilton before he came to see us? The beach. That's right. He was at the beach. And what's he wearing? Sunglasses. Yeah, that's it. We wear sunglasses at the beach. And so we found our clue. God's people had traveled until they reached the beach and the water's edge. So what was the sea called again? The Red Sea. That's right. They were at the Red Sea. Somebody should look up why it's called the Red Sea and send a message to me. See if you find the answer for it. Is that a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so when they looked behind them, though, guess what they saw? Do you know? Remember they were running away from the king in Egypt? Mm. Why don't you think about it? They were running away from an army of men riding on horses. And they got to the water, and it was right there. Where could they go? The sea was too big to swim across. They were stuck. Oh, no. They were scared, too. Can you make a scared face? Oh, no. Yeah, but good news, you guys. The people trusted Moses, and Moses trusted God, and he knew that God is mighty. He's bigger and stronger than any army that the king could have. And Moses told the people, don't be scared because God is mighty. So God would save them. So God told Moses to raise his staff, and he held it in the air. Can you tell me what a staff is? Do you remember? Hmm, probably a big twig? Yeah, it's like a big walking stick, really big that he could carry. So Moses trusted God and obeyed his words. He raised his staff above the water like this, and something amazing happened. God sent a great big wind and it put half of the water on one side and half of the water on the other side and the people could see dry land between it. So check this out. I brought a little bit of pretend water with me today. Imagine that this is the Red Sea and then Moses raised his staff and the wind blew and parted the sea. Let's see what happens. And then you can see that there's dry land and God's people walked right across the dry land to the other side. As soon as they got across the water, it closed back up and the army that was chasing them couldn't get to them. Isn't God mighty? He's so amazing. So they walked across to the other side and the Israelites were free. They made it and they escaped from Egypt. Do you think they were excited? Yes. You bet they were. They were so excited. So they sang a song of praise to God to thank him for being so mighty and for taking care of them. The song that they sang told the story of everything that he had done to make them free. Okay, everybody at home, think of the answer. My question is, who kept all the people safe? Do you know? God. That's right. God did. And who was mighty and parted the sea? God. That's right. God is mighty and he did part the sea. Who trusted God? Moses and the people. That's right. Moses and the people trusted God and God saved them. Guess what else? We can trust God too. Isn't that great? Yes. So when we're afraid or we need help or we don't know what to do, we can know that God is mighty and we can turn to him if we need him. So Hamilton, I want to tell you thank you so much for coming today and helping us with the story. And we will see you next time, okay? Bye. Bye. I love it when he comes and plays with us and helps us with the story. So everybody, 
God saved his people because God is mighty, isn't he? So when the Israelites were saved from harm, they sang out because God is so mighty. Today, what I would like to say to you is God is mighty and he's bigger and he's stronger than anything or anyone. May you always praise him and thank him for who he is. I'm so glad that you guys came today, but I want to say one more thing. There's a verse in the Bible that I want to share with you. You can find this one in the book of Psalm. It's chapter 150, verse 6. It says, Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! We will see you next time, but before we go, remember to look in the Parent Weekly to find your coloring sheet and activities to go with this lesson. Okay, bye!